Hey, this is Tristan with Hip Cooks in West Los Angeles, and Valentine's Day is coming near. So what better way to wake up and make some creamy strawberry crepes? So our ingredients for crepes are three eggs, three tablespoons of melted butter, one cup all-purpose flour, one quarter cup of granulated sugar, lemon for the zest, and some pure vanilla extract, and one cup of milk. So think about mixing the wet ingredients first. I'm gonna give those a quick whisk. Put the sugar in. Sugar is considered a wet ingredient when you're baking. Crazy, isn't it? And the milk. One cup of milk. Use whole milk. It'll make the crepes a lot richer. Okay. Probably a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay, I'm gonna check my butter. You don't want your butter to be too hot before putting it into this mixture. Okay, just whisk that in. And then we want to add the one cup of flour. So slowly sprinkle that in while you're whisking your ingredients together. This consistency is looking good for crepes, so I just left out a couple tablespoons of flour. We don't want our crepe batter to be too thick. All right, that's looking good. Notice that it's a lot looser than pancake batter, if you've ever made pancakes. And one of the last things we do is some zest of the lemon for extra flavor. You can also do orange or lime. Ooh. So my pan's heating up. I'm gonna use some spray oil. Oil the bottom of that. Make sure that's nice and hot before we put any of the batter in. So take a little bit of the batter, check it out and see how well it cooks. When you're making crepes just like pancakes, don't be surprised if the first one turns out a little odd or it's not as pretty as you might like it. It's probably because the pan isn't just where it needs to be. So I'm gonna turn down the pan to medium. And when you're making crepes, you don't want more than maybe two tablespoons of batter because the idea is to twirl the pan and you want the thinnest possible. So into your hot pan and then give it a little twirl. You're gonna move it around so it gets to all the edges. You're looking for thin. Okay, I'm back on the heat for about a minute and then we'll flip it. Alrighty, the edges of the crepe are starting to get a little golden. That's what I want, so I know that's about time to flip it. Get your spatula and pull it up with your finger and flip. And then we have a nice, lovely backside of the crepe that's golden. That's just what we're looking for. So give this about 30 seconds, and then onto a plate and ready to eat. All right, give your pan a shake. If the crepe's moving around, that's a good sign that you're ready to go. And onto the plate. So once the crepe's on the plate, it's ready to fill with all our delicious fillings. The crepes are done, but it's time to make the filling, the yummy, yummy part. So, got my heavy cream here, and I wanna get that whipped. We're talking about a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream. We've got our cream, it's just slightly whipped. We don't want it whipped too much into the pan, just a little bit of air in there to fluff it up. So using your dirty bowl, not a problem. Put it back on the blender. And this is when we add in our four ounces of cream cheese, quarter cup of powdered sugar, juice of half a lemon, and a little bit of vanilla extract. Okay, let's get this blended up. Alrighty, so we've got this all nice and blended. And we just want to put this cream into the filling and fold it in. Okay, so that whipping cream helps lighten the cream cheese mix. Nice and light. Okay, our crepes. Crepe number one. Put a little bit of the filling inside. Looks good to me. And roll it up. Two makes for a nice serving. Roll those up in the middle of your plate. And get some strawberries on top. And there you have it. 
What a fantastic thing to wake up to on Valentine's Day. Enjoy your creamy strawberry crepes and have a lovely romantic day. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see me prepare any other recipes, please send an email to requestatmahalo.com and in the meantime, check out our other videos.